So, Stuka Joe here, third time is the charm. This is another infamous unboxing video, this time of this game, Civil Power, a game designed by Brian Train and published by CSL, and I'd say three, three times is the charm, because I made a, an unboxing and the volume came too low, then I did a second unboxing and it didn't record, and this one is the third. So. We'll keep on doing the unboxing, the night is young. So this is a game published by CSL and designed by Brian Train on a topic that I uh, grabbed my attention because it's about civil unrest, the police against the mob, and it has scenarios for, from very different eras. Here you see a sample of the map and the units. It's a map with squares the police against the rioters. It's a tactical game. So this is a counterinsurgency game at the tactical level. And you have uh, the police uh, has to uh, obviously uh, quell the mob, but it must manage to contain and subdue the crowd carefully uh, with the distributed violence, the right amount to suppress or demoralize the mob forces. So it can't go... Uh, gung-ho here or it will lose the game and the mob player is less constrained but is also aware that a riot is a temporary thing and this is the thing that got my attention the scenarios here that you have is you have a five-day chicago 1968 campaign three day or three player belfast scenario 1975 the Berlin Wall, I think that's 1985. You have also the 1992 Los Angeles riots and even 1944 Warsaw Uprising scenario. So uh, complexity is 5 out of 10 and solitaire suitability 5 out of 10. There's some aspects that are hidden information. You have two letter size maps, uh, maps 8.5 by 11 inches. 140 double-sided counters, and those are the thick laser-cut counters by Blue Panther. A rule book and player aids. And it's designed by Brian Train, developed by Brian Train. Counters and box art by Ivan Cáceres, who I will see again next week at the 5th Bellota Con in Badajoz, and I'll be uh, live streaming from Badajoz, that convention. And the map art by Ilya Kudryashov. So let's open the box, let's see what do we see, and uh, obviously we see the dice here, two six-sided dice, and we have some player aids. Now, let's, uh, these are counters, we have the maps, and let's begin with the rule book here. The rule book is a small format rule book, but it's it has around uh, 28 pages. You have your index there. And the rules, you know, regular sequence of play, which we'll see in, a, in the player aid. You have your normal movement stacking. You got fire combat. You have a shock combat, ranged combat. Then what is interesting here is the special rules. You have tear gas. Gas guns, so these are resources that the police has. And I'm getting a call here, I have to decline it a second. And uh, snipers, agitators, Molotov cocktails, night and night lights, engagement level, that's EL, and you have restrictions for the police from zero, pushing and shoving, to five, shoot to kill, and the mob has sort of the same restrictions. Then you have victory conditions and the optional rules. You have baton rounds. 
you have a water cannons, active denial system. This is a vehicle that uh, focuses a beam of microwave energy to make the target feel as the skin is burning. Hidden setup and ambush, mounted police, helicopters, TV crews, overreaction, and barriers, vehicles. We have uh, vehicles, fire combat, extended range, command and control. And we have the design notes here. And here we have the scenarios. We have a riots, uh, type one riot scenarios, the Battle of Cable Street, 1936 in London. We have the Armies of the Night, Chicago, 1968. Belfast is a three-player scenario, 1975. So that's riot-type scenarios. We have Terre Blanche, Pretoria, 1991. Protest, counter-protest, Caracas, 2019. Student riot, Hong Kong, 2019. Uh, Gilet Jean. That's Paris, 2019. So 2019 was a pretty rioty year. Then demonstration. This is American City, 2020, whatever. And then here we have uh, war in the street scenarios, type two. We have Bloody Week. That's Paris, 1871. So that's the Paris Commune. And we have Uprising. That's Warsaw, 1944. And then we have Raus, West Berlin, 1986. And we continue here with Intifada, that's Gaza, 1987. We have Colors, that's Los Angeles, 1989, and Rodney King, 1992. Then we have Ephraim Motorpool, West Bank, 2011. So there's a lot of scenarios. Even design your own scenarios. Here we see the uh, player aids. You can build your forces for each scenario. You get points. So here the police can uh, purchase units. These are the regular units, and red are optional units. You have the fire combat, shock combat, morale movement, and the cost points. And here you see the units for the mob. There's some force packages where you can purchase for the police and the mob standard or elite units that can be small, medium, or large. And here you have your shock combat results table, fire combat results table, you have the modifiers, mob reinforcements, and the terrain table. And here you have a picture of the units and the ratings from the top, left to right, fire combat, shock combat, then on the bottom, morale and movement, and two icons means it's a group unit. And here we have our sequence of play in another card. It starts with a mutual gas and fire check phase. Then the player conducts his fire combat phase, movement phase, shock combat phase, suppression recovery, and then the other player does the same you got your standard victory points and ratio tables, and my card apparently got some attack there on its way to Belfast. And here we have uh, the uh, all-purpose record track. And here we have the maps, two letter size maps. You can see here, you see it's some buildings, each building has a letter. You have to Posh Hotel, there's a plaza there. So it's all the spaces are squares. And most of it is buildings. The other map, same thing. You have a largest building there to squat. And then you have like a park, like in the middle of the map. Those are the two maps. And then here we have one sheet of counters. We have the mob counters. And there, you see there are different uh, types and colors here. Suppose you have two tones of colors because there's a scenario for three players. So you have to distinguish the two mob players. You have snipers. Uh, and you have here markers, second level. You have some police units, mounted police. You have so like riot squads, snipers, you have vehicles gas gun, and when you flip them to the other side, they're different units. 
So it's not reduced, but you have different units on the other side. So you have these guys with zero uh, fire combat rating, but four in the assault. And they have three silhouettes. And then you have these other guys with a 10 in, in fire combat. Suppression, gas, and you have other police units here. Tank, helicopter, machine gun, ADS. So those are the counters. And that's basically what's inside the box in this game, Civil Power. A game designed by Brian Train, published by CSL. A game that interests me because of the topic. It's, you know, Brian Train uh, makes a lot of uh, counterinsurgency games, but this one is at the tactical level. So, uh, obviously that topic interested me and uh, the tactical level, I don't have any tactical game on this particular topic. So, I'm um, looking forward to take a deeper look into it and I hope that this unboxing gives you a faint idea of what the game is about and it, what it has to offer. So, this is Stuka Joe, signing off for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.